doing this high, the Dales Highway. It goes from Saltair to Appleby and West. We don't know whether we can manage it. Morning, we're uh, on a caravan and camping site, and uh, it's pretty good. It's yeah. called Night Something, and uh, it's at Little Stainforth, north of about three miles north of Settle. You can get an excellent uh, meal here at a, at a pretty cheap price, really. Very friendly, good toilet block, and showers and everything. Although. I couldn't have a shower, I got a bit frustrated because I couldn't remember the bloody door code. I lost a bit of the paper that the bloke gave me. And then when I finally found the bit of paper, it had the wrong door code on it. So I couldn't get in anyway. But eventually somebody came along and let us in. So uh, this morning, we're not going to go up Ingleborough. We're going to try and walk to uh, Ribblehead. Right, cheers, finish this coffee up. get cracking. So we're coming up out a little stain forth up this uh, track back into the hills this morning. It's uh, nine o'clock, we've got away half an hour earlier this morning. Now we're approaching the little hamlet of Fazor, possibly, not the motorbike, Fazor, but the little hamlet, Fazor. And it's been a lovely walk through here from Little Stainforth, the caravan park where we stopped, uh, to this little hamlet. And there possibly could be a cafe here, so we might have, I uh, just fancy a nice soft egg sandwich. <laughs> Just over uh, last night. We're walking up through Fezia and it's a lovely little village and a uh, beautiful little cafe. With, uh, I had beans and egg on toast at Elaine's tea rooms and Dad had the egg and bacon bap and we had a huge pot of tea between us and uh, well recommended, brilliant, what a great stop. You can also leave your car there long term if you're doing a, a good hike, so great, yeah. Right, on to the next village. This is, is, well, I've just had a poetic moment there, but I'm just trying to express it. It's such a fantastic view here. You know, you come, oh, it's an amazing place to walk. The Dales Highway is certainly uh, well planned out, such a great route. There's the great Ingleborough in the background over there and Penny Ghent up there, neither of which we'll be going over. We've been up them before. But uh, these meadows and oh, it's absolutely beautiful on us. Weather like this, oh, it's incredible, isn't it? 
oh, I think I need to retire. I keep bumping into people that are just kind of walking long distances because <laughs> they're not working. So. Oh, God. Oh, beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, what sort of poppies are they? Oh, Welsh poppy. Welsh poppy, beautiful, they are. Morning. Morning. You asleep in the sun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely here. Yeah. Well, we've come through the little village of Wharf, and uh, I think we're oh, we're going along this uh, the Pennine Bridleway. It's an old uh, pack horse bridleway, and it is uh, what an amazing track, what an amazing route, and two amazing villages we went through, little hamlets. God, beautiful. So it's nice and easy walking today. Pleasant, isn't it? Is that, do, yeah. are we, we haven't come down that one now, have we? No, no, we haven't come down any high ground, have we? No, no, I'm looking at the track. Oh, oh the, the track walls. there. That was another track that went off that way. I did look at that one. That's why I stopped and looked at the map. They probably, uh, probably quarried that over there. Yeah, that track kind of stops uh, after a short distance and no. then it goes out into the field a bit. It might have been built for quarrying or something. Yeah. You need a cushion behind my back, Dave. I know, you got it's one? a bit bumpy. <laughs> Here we have a lime kiln. In fact, it's about the best preserved one I think I've ever seen. 
a pretty good neck. This is. There's the chimney hole up there. It's only about a mile to the pub now. Wow! A bit further if we walk round the road, but there's supposed to be a track along the side. So we're doing a little uh, couple of mile road section, a bit of walking on the road, and uh, that ahead there is the Ribblehead Viaduct, Viaduct, which are, I've never actually seen close up before. So it looks impressive from here. There's the pub where the train is that we're heading towards. And there's the Ribblehead Viaduct with the a little train just about to go over it. Good evening. Here we are in the it's the station in Ribblehead, but we've had the best meal you could probably get anywhere. I mean, homemade steak pie, huge chunks of steak, beautiful fresh vegetables lovely gravy oh it was really nice and uh but the monk house and some guys are taking it over and i think they're working on the place uh building it up the food was fantastic but the monk house needs a bit of work but uh yeah so we've done about 12 miles today and uh we've had uh, th three pints and a whiskey in the bar Lucky boy. Yep, and uh, outside, the sun is setting. I'll take you outside and show you now. And you can see the uh, Ribblehead Viaduct over there, look. And the uh, setting, the red of the sun shining on the clouds. Anyway, that's an amazing view. I wanted to wild camp, but of course, Dad's 83, and uh, he just, after 12 miles, with the backpack, he didn't want to go any further. I don't blame him. Anyway, bedtime now. Let's find out what Dad's up to. <laughs> <laughs>